Turn it up. Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. If we linking up, what we linking up? What time no yeah. sleeping time? I said I had to call him up I made the phone call a deke like what's up Is you ready for war? He replied being ready for war Being ready for a battle with swords And I respect him cause he fought many wars I humble down to what the scriptures say And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way I know it's hard in his walk and they been walking for years So when I weak in the flesh they voice attend to my ears A young man try and soak the wisdom Gain the knowledge, apply the scriptures Wrong decisions leave me senseless Dear Lord would you give me a chance? We all looking for the code to the gate. We all look at how to... Hey, bro, I seen you walk past the school on Lamar today. You walk right past our school, all right? Then you come out of here and walk right past us. You see what I'm saying? I seen you. I came out of our school. You were walking. You were rapping to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Then you come out of Bill Street and see us on the street teaching. Give me Proverbs. Uh, is it 20 and 24? Let me show you something, bro. God ain't playing with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, ha this ain't, all this ain't for nothing. For you to walk, for me to see you walking down Lamar Street, then you walk right in front of us. Listen to this. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Yeah. Man's goings are of the Lord. It said man's goings are of the Lord. So the most high God got you standing right here stuck right now. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you could have left. You could have kept on walking like them people doing. But God said this. Read that again. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? See, you thought you were going about rapping and doing your own thing. But God got you right here for a reason. And this is why God got you right here, man. Give me uh, Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. We out here soul searching, man. We looking for real men that's ready to stand up for God. We looking for men who are ready to change their life. Okay? Right now, we ain't, we ain't finna talk about these, these whores out here. We trying to change your life because you standing right here and these whores keep walking. You see what I'm saying? We not gonna talk over your head when you trying to hear the word of God. Listen. Right Acts out. chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. It said do what? Repent ye therefore and be converted. See, the Bible tells you, it's telling you to repent, bro, and be converted. You know what it means to be converted? I mean, what it means to be converted? Yeah, to flip over, to change. So God calling you to change, bro. Right. That's why you you didn't see me earlier, but I seen you, and then I seen you two times today, bro. Yeah, you, you seen us walking in. We had purple. Yeah, you was walking out there. All right, now you, it's coming back to you. Yeah. All right. So it, it's coming back to you, right? So give me that. Give me Romans chapter twelve and verse two. So it said, "Repent ye therefore and be converted, bro." Right. So check this out right now. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 uh -huh. and be not conformed to this world. See the Bible is telling you not to be conformed to this world man. Forget about me Forget about the whore. You see what I'm saying? Forget about the drugs. Forget about all that. Understand that. The Bible says what? Be not conformed to this world. It said be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It said you got to do what? Be not conformed of this world. It said, don't forget about Bill Street, bro. Forget about these, these these women walking around these little skirts. Right. These little uh these little short little short shorts on and stuff. Listen. Right. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. You gotta you gotta transform, read. By the renewing of your mind. You gotta renew your mind, bro. You gotta stop thinking on how you was thinking. Alright? So you gotta transform your mind. Alright, give me John chapter uh Three, verse three. I right, turn it up. If they were gonna say something, he was saying to me. Where you gonna go? Oh, okay. I ain't trying to take this. Out, I just want to teach his brother repentance. Read John chapter three, verse three. Jesus answered and said unto him, "This is how you renew your mind. Listen, verily, verily, I say unto thee. So I'm saying, listen to you." Except a man be a born again. You got to be born again. How you got to be born again? Read. 
He cannot see the kingdom of God. You ain't gonna see the kingdom of God. Come down here and trying to enjoy Bill Street, you ain't gonna see the kingdom of God. It ain't gonna be no reveling in the kingdom of God. Right. It ain't gonna be no women dressed like prostitutes in the kingdom of God. Right. It ain't gonna be no men walking around with skinny jeans in the kingdom of God. That's right. It ain't gonna be no black women with blonde hair, white woman hair on her head in the kingdom of God. Right. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. You gotta be born again, little bro. Listen. He cannot see the kingdom of God. You ain't gonna be able to see the kingdom of God. You know what it means to be the kingdom? Give me Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. Bring it out. Let me show you what it means when it says the kingdom of God. Listen. Acts chapter 1 verse 6. When they therefore we come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So, will God restore again the kingdom to Israel? Give me Matthew 6 and 9. Let's see where this kingdom gonna be at, bruh. It's time for you to walk around like a king. Right. right now you walking around like the walking dead. You don't know if you coming or going. You see what I'm saying? So we try to get you into this kingdom. This is where the kingdom is. Listen. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner, therefore I pray ye. You heard the Lord's prayer before? Listen. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He said, hallowed be his name. Holy be his name. Read. Thy kingdom come. See, look at these dudes right here mocking God. The effeminate. And now look y'all, we are teaching the word of God. These young ladies know they dress inappropriate. She come past and she hide her phone behind her booty trying to cover up her private parts. That's how you know right there that our sisters know that they're being wickedness, man. No. That's how you know that our sisters know that they're being wickedness. Give me that in first two minutes too and now. Give me that in first two. I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. But no, uh, uh Hey, we got to check that. Because that sister seen us preaching the word of God. She said, let me cover my behind up. Because the word of God is coming out. The only way a woman does that if she knows that she feels shame. A lot of you women out here dressed inappropriately right now, you know you ought to be ashamed of yourself. But since all the nation's doing it, it ain't no shame in your game. Listen to this, read. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 In like manner also It say in like manner also, read That women adorn her themselves It say let women Let women adorn themselves Let women clothe themselves, read In modest apparel God said let women clothe themselves in modest apparel Your legs don't supposed to be shorn Your stomach don't be supposed to be shorn Your titties don't supposed to be shot up And look at this sister right here A loud, clamorous woman Good. You could have just kept quiet But you don't care about your whoredom though You like being a whore You like being a whore for real though, our women love whoredom. And guess what? Men love whores. That's why they have sex with you and throw you to the side. So, so you need to be trying to get a husband. Get that in Hebrews 13 and 4. You need to be trying to get a husband instead of letting these men run up in and out of you. That's why men disrespecting you right now and grabbing on you. That's why men is disrespecting you right now, grabbing on you right now. Because you don't know how to carry yourself. Listen to this, read. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable. God said marriage is honorable. You know what? You know, they got a saying in the world, if the shoe fit work. Every sister that it can't pass us, we read these scriptures out, showing how a woman's supposed to be clothed, how a woman's supposed to be adorning themselves. They just sat up there and put the shoe on, because they know they wrong. God said, look, read that again. Marriage is honorable. God said marriage is a honorable thing. But a lot of y'all come down on Bill Street to get a one night stand, to get a bussy baby, to get a jump off, to get a thought, to get a third lover brother, to get your tie wrong. Read. Marriage is honorable. God said marriage is honorable. Marriage is a honorable thing, read. And all that the bed are defiled. And the bed is undefiled. When a man do with his wife, the bed is undefiled. The problem in our community is we do not practice marriage. The white man married a white woman. The Chinese man married a Chinese woman. The Arab man ain't married an Arab woman. But guess what, black woman? The black man ain't gonna marry you tonight. He gonna lay you down. He gonna run up in you all. He gonna shoot his uh, business up in you. And then he gonna leave. You wanna know why? Because go back to first Timothy 2 and 9. I'm going to show you why. Bring it out, up. God said marriage is honorable and the bed under foul, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Right. And I'm going to show you, listen to this, read. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also. It's in like manner 
also read that the woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. God said the woman should adorn themselves in modest apparel. Yes, this is the New Testament in the Bible. But guess what? These sisters don't really love God. They liars. They go to church every Sunday to hear a feel good speech. Right. To hear how they can make some extra money. But God said let the woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right. What type of modest apparel? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it on. You're supposed to have your breasts in now. You're supposed to have your booty cheeks hanging out up under your shorts. You the daughters of Sarah. If you look up the word Sarah, Sarah means princess. Our sisters are princes. But you don't carry yourself like princes. You carry yourself just like the next street walker. You don't know a street walker from a decent young woman right now. That's true. Hey, wait, well, hey, look, have you seen a sister out here you want to marry tonight? Not yet. How many sisters you seen out here that you just want to run up in? Plenty. Plenty. That's all. Brothers don't see, brothers don't see wives. They just see plenty of sisters that want to run up in. I'm telling you how the black man thinks. Read up. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. This is the type of modest apparel God said our women supposed to adorn themselves in. Read. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth to a man. God said a woman should wear what pertains to a man. Pants pertain to men. Right. And said, look, the only man on the planet Earth that's supposed to see the shape of your body is your husband. That's but guess what? You don't got nothing to offer your husband. You want to know why? Because he had already seen everything you got before you put the ring on your finger. Before he give you that marriage certificate. He has seen everything you got. You had already gave up the good. The, uh, you got another saying in the world, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Read it, read it again. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what women wear every day that pertain to man? Pants, 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 showing out the shape of your body. Why your sisters got a zip in the front of your pants? Is you unzipping and flipping? Is you unzipping and flipping? Because I got a zip in front of my pants. I know zip, flip, <laughs> read up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. I say neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A woman's garment is a dress. So what's the opposite of a dress, bro? Bezaya. Uh, uh. What is the opposite of a dress? Opposite of a dress is pants. It's pants. The opposite of a dress is pants, man. It's time for our people to wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God. Y'all say y'all love God out here. Give me John chapter 5. How many of you God, uh, born again Christians? All right, this is all right. Come here, sister. If you love God, turn around from going on Bill Street and breaking God's laws and here is listen to the word of God. But our people some liars. You don't love God. You're a liar. Listen to this way. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love, this is what Christ said. This is what Christ said, sisters. Listen to this. Because look, you claim to be Christian, you say you love God. Listen to what Christ said, sister. Read. If ye love me, this is what Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, said. He said, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Jesus Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. But guess what? Give me that in Galatians real quick. Give me that in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. How many of y'all going to stand up, repent, and rise up for God tonight? Are you going to continue in your sin? You're going to continue your in ignorance and you're going to be judged. And you're going to receive to yourself everlasting damnation. Listen to this, read. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. He said, now the works of the man, man flesh are manifest. It's not hard to see that our people are not in the spirit of God. These are the works of the flesh. Listen to this. He said it's manifest. It's easy to see, read. Which are these? Adultery. Adultery. Somebody gonna commit adultery tonight. A sister gonna sleep with another sister husband. A brother gonna sleep with another man's wife tonight. Without no regard for how that man feel, or no regard for how that sister feel. Read on. Fornication. Fornication. That's all manner of sexual sin. A lot of people ain't out here tonight to sit up there to have uh to sit up here and find a wife. They out here for a one night. Hey man, look, don't cut it down no more. Read on. Uncleanness. Uncleanness of this abomination, just like our sister. It say, it say a man that wants a woman's apparel is abomination. A woman that wants a man's apparel is an abomination. That's uncleanness. Read. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. That's them evil, wicked desires that's going through our people here. Read. Idolatry. Idolatry. Just like right now, being street is idolatry. Our people idolize going down here every weekend. Read. Witchcraft. Read. Hatred. Various, 
emulations, wealth, strife, settings, city issues, heresy, see, it said heresies, well, give me another reader, read, give me another read, it said strife, hatred, notice how people hate each other, what is one of the biggest words used in the black ca black community? What else? What you hear somebody saying all the time? Ah, oh, he hating. He hating, bro. That's one of the biggest words losing our community. Everybody hating on you. Nobody ain't hating on your ass. For real, you the damn hater. That's the biggest word that's used in our community, man. Why? Because we hate one another, man. We do not keep the commandments of God. God said you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. But that's one of the biggest, biggest words used in our community. Hey, read on. Book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 19. No, 20, 21. Verse 21. Envying, murders, drunkenness. Envying, murders, drunkenness. A lot of our people are going to go down here and they're going to get drunk tonight, bro. That's right. It said the works of the manifest, I mean the works of the flesh are manifest. It ain't hard to see who our people rolling with. They are not rolling with God, they're rolling with Satan. That's and like right. the brother said, you won't pass the school uh, earlier today. It's not a coincidence that you out here and that we out here right now. Right. It's time for our people to wake up, man. God is building his army on the planet Earth. How many of you black men going to stand up and join the army of God? No. Or you going to get rolled over when Christ comes back? Right. right. Envyance, murders, drunkenness, revelance, and such like. And such like. Such like people that do things such like these sins that he just named, read. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things. It's saying they that do such things, they that do such things, read, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Because a lot of people say they want to get the kingdom of God. How you get the kingdom of God? Can anybody tell a black man how can you get to, get to the kingdom of God? Can anybody tell a black man what the kingdom of God going to be at? Because I'm going to tell you something. When we come out here, people act like we don't got the answers. Can anybody tell me my nationality? Can anybody show me who I am? It's time for our people to wake up. Hey, sister, come right, sister. I want to ask you something. Sister, check this out, sis. Now, they don't want to know their nationality. They don't want to know their nationality. You don't want to know who you are. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all nationality is so important. Give me 10, 10, and 1. This is why your nationality is so important. Because the black man on this planet don't know who you are. For 400 years, for, for over 400 years, we was enslaved. They restricted you from reading and writing. They said, look, you're a Negro, you're a nigga, you're African-American. They told you your nationality. They gave you a nationality. You don't even know who you descend from. What that letter of earth you belong to, black man, black woman. Bring it on. But I guess we said some Negroes hollering out on the street. We some niggas hollering out on the street, ain't it? But a lot of our people gonna die in their sin. They gonna die in the midst of iniquity. They gonna die saying they love Christ, but don't do nothing he say. It's so important that you know your nationality. How many gates is it to the kingdom of heaven? Sisters, how many gates is it to the kingdom of heaven? Nobody never told you? It's one gate. I'm going to show you something. Listen to this first. Read. Sister said it's one gate to the kingdom of heaven. Let's see what the Bible says. Read. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Christ said, verily, verily, surely, surely, I say unto you. Read. He that entered not by the door. He said, he that enter in not by the door. The door is talking about Christ. Sisters, the door is talking about Christ. Read on. Into the sheepfold. Into the sheepfold. Let's see who the sheepfold is. Give me Matthew 15 and 24. Hold it. We coming right back there. He said, he that enter in not by the door into the sheepfold. Meaning you got to come by Christ into the sheepfold. Let's see what the sheepfold is. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. He said, I am not sent but to who? But unto the low sheep. But unto the low sheep. The low sheep. The low sheep. Read of the house of Israel. The Israelites. So you got to come back to Christ as an Israelite. Right. And he said, he that entered in not by the door into the sheepfold. Meaning you ain't coming through Christ as an Israelite. Read. Same as a thief. Hold on, put your light in. John 10 and 1. John 10 and 1. Fairly, fairly I say unto you, 
He that enter not by the door of the, of the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. So if you don't come through Christ as an Israelite, you try to come in some other way. You try to come in as a Christian. You try to come in as a Baptist. You try to come in as a Pentecost. You try to come in as Islam. You try to come in as Easter, 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 and they rob He said the same as a thief and a robber. Bring it out. Now, the sister said it's one gate to the kingdom of heaven. Let's get that. Revelation 21. Let me show you how many gates it is to the kingdom of heaven. And I'm going to show you who names it on. Because Christ said, this is Christmas. Because Christ said, if you don't enter in by the door and to the sheepfold and try to climb up some other way, the same as as a thief and a robber. Listen to this. Read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. And had a woe. Great and hot. It's a head of wall, great and high. We in Revelations, the last book in the Bible. It don't get no more New Testament than this. Say had a wall, great and high. Listen to this, brother Reed. And had 12 gates. And had how many gates? And had 12 gates. One gate. 12 gates. One gate. 12 gates. 12 gates, gate, sister. This in the Holy Bible. It's time for y'all to wake up and come out these churches. We ain't out here for no reason, man. For real though, it's time for our people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. It said, "In a glow, great and high, read, and at the gates, twelve angels." And at these twelve gates, sister, guess what? At these twelve gates is twelve gang angels. Why do you think it's twelve at twelve gates, twelve angels? Listen to this, read. And names written thereon. It said, "Ways names written on." So it's twelve gates. We talking about the kingdom of heaven. It's names written on these 12 gates. Listen, read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? So, sister, I want you to come over here and look at this sign. But I want you to look at this sign. Because it says, he that enter not by the door through the sheepfold and try to climb up some other way, the same as a thief in the rock. God calls us Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, and Thala. But guess what? The white man call you American black, West Indian black, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican, Guad. Because they cock at you. They cock at you and call you what they call them, what they want to call you. What do God call you according to the Bible? Look at this sign over there. Tell me what God call you according to the Bible. Hold on, say it loud. Judah. Say it loud. Judah. Say it loud. Judah. Y'all know what Judah mean? Judah mean God's praise. Yes. What does African American mean though? Sister, what does African American mean? Brother, what does African American mean? You can't tell me what African American mean, but I can tell you what Judah mean. And Judah means you are God's praise, man. Yes. It's time for our people to wake up, man, and repent. For real though. How long? Give me that in uh, uh, Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1 verse 21. Start at 22. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. How long? Say how long? How long y'all? How long read? These simple ones. Do ye love simplicity? The most I said how long do you simple ones love simplicity? I have people love their cars. You love your clothes. Look at this brother right here. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. Read that again. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. How long? You say, how long, read? Ye simple ones. Will ye love simplicity? What type of grown ass man ride out the window with his tongue out the damn car? What type of grown man ride around? Okay. Okay. It's time for y'all to wake up and keep the commandments of God, man. Our people got to repent. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. It says scorners delight in their scorning. Just like our people that come up here, they see us bringing out forth the word. And guess what? They scorn. And they have delight in doing that. But you say you love God. A lot of y'all going to be at church tomorrow morning. A lot of y'all going to be at church tomorrow morning. Guess what you're going to be saying? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I'm washed in the blood of the man. Amen. That's what you're going to be saying tomorrow. But guess what? You don't love God. You was a liar. You was a liar. You don't love God. Give me First John 5 and 3. You don't love God. You don't know my father. You don't know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is about order. He's not about rioting and reveling. He's not about drunkenness. Right. He's not about fornication. Right. Oh, God is not about a grown man riding down the street, sticking his tongue out the window.
what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ah, right. ah. But y'all sisters, y'all love them type of niggas though. Right. You love them type of men. Them the type of men that have sex with you and leave you by yourself and don't take care of your kid. That's beautiful right there to see a father with his daughter. Yeah. Yeah. For real yeah. though, and see his wife dressed modestly. That's different, that's beautiful. Yeah. But the majority of our sisters though, the majority of our sisters walking around at night, you don't know them from the, I don't know if you're a street walker, or I don't know if you're a decent young woman. And that's the truth. Read the book of First John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God right here. This is what it means to love God. Listen, read. That we keep his commandments. This is the love of God that we do what? Keep his What is the love of God, bro? What we got to do? Love God. No, 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 no. Listen to what the scriptures say. How do you love? I'll ask you something. Can you give God a kiss? Can you give him a hug? Can you give him a gift? How do you show God you love him then? Listen to this. Uh, okay, listen. I right, read the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. It's like this is the love of God, read. That we keep. His commandments. So I'm asking you again, what did the Bible say? What it means to love God? Keep his commandments. What it means to love God? Keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. That's right. See, if you're the bad people out here saying you love God, and you ain't keeping his commandments, give me that in 1 John 2 and 3. Bring it out. See, it's people to wake up and get a reality check. Right. Because the end is coming. Right. What y'all think they got all these nuclear weapons for? You think they got nuclear weapons just to sit around and not go on? Nuclear war is coming to America. Right. Nuclear war is coming to Russia. Nuclear war is coming to China. Nuclear war is coming. But guess what? Let's mind our own business. Ain't nothing going on. The white man gonna protect me. Right. The, the big bad almighty white man gonna protect me. Our people still looking for a white man to crack the sky and save. Him. This the image that your mama's got in your house. Your sister's got in your house. Your great grandma got in your house. They don't got your image in the house, though. For real, though. When Christ looked like you. Christ is a black man just like you. Christ is a black man just like you. Christ is a black man just like you. Like you. Like you. Like you. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. Because a lot of people say they know God. It say, hereby we do know that we know him, Reed. If we keep his commandments. So in order to say you know God, what you got to do? Keep his commandments. In order to say you love God, what you got to do? Keep his commandments. You got to keep his commandments. Yes. You can't say you know God, and you can't say you love God if you are not obedient to his word. Read. He that saith, I know him. He say, but look, let's just say if you want to say, I know him. And say, he that say, I know him, Reed. And keep him not. His commandment. But you don't keep, keep commandment one in this Bible. You say you know God, but you don't keep commandment one in this Bible. You're going to go to church tomorrow. You're going to say you know him. You're going to say you love him. But you don't keep commandment one. Listen to what God calls you. Listen to what Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, calls you. Read. Is a liar. He said you are a liar. You, you can't say you know. You can't say you know God. And you don't keep his commandments. You can't say you don't love him and keep his commandments. It's time for our people to wake up with pit, man. For real, though. I love our people, we're going to sit up here. We, you, you're going to die in iniquity. God said two-thirds of our people going to go. You want to know why? Because y'all look at us and you roll your eyes. You think we some niggas, though. You ain't used to nobody telling you the truth. You ain't used to nobody telling you change your life. Stop letting different men run up in you. Change, dress up. Cover your body up. God, God, wear your natural hair. Give me that in Daniel 79. Bring it out, out. Our women love wearing these weaves and wigs, man. But let's see how the most high God her is. Bring it out. Yeah, our women dying in her blood. When you read the when you're reading the Bible about blood, her, blood her is a sign of leprosy. Yeah. For real though, it's time for our people to wake up. Listen to this read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. Bring it out. I be held to the thrones where cast down. Daniel said, I be held. I watched till the thrones was cast down. He seen Germany being cast down, Russia being cast down, America being cast down, East India being cast down, China being cast down, we And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is talking about the Most High God. Why? Because he was here before he said, the evening and the morning was the first day. We Whose garment was white as snow. In order to wear a garment like me, what you gotta have? How can I wear this gun? Cause everybody say God is spirit. In order to wear a garment, you gotta have a body. Right. Mm. And the hair of 
of his head. In the hair of his head. Show you that the most high God ain't no woman. It said the hair of his head. God got hair on his head. Like what? Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. God hair is like pure wool. But guess what? Our women uh, wearing these damn long ass wigs in their hair. 16 inch women. 15 inch yakky. Tell about people to wake up. I'll let the next person go through that. Give me Revelation 1. Let me show you how Christ looked going to the Bible. How many of y'all knew that Jesus? How many of you knew Jesus Christ was a black man? Tell the truth. You knew Jesus Christ was a black man. Because when you look in the Bible, and you look for this image, you can't find this image right here nowhere in the Bible. You don't find this. This is not Jesus Christos. This is not Jesus Christos. Jesus Christos, look at that. That's all they do is shake their hands. All the black women good for is shaking their hands. For real though. And the black man cloning. Whole ass men and women riding down the street, hey, and cooning and bouncing their asses. <laughs> Tell five people to wake up, man. You just got y'all gonna do the same stuff for the rest of your life? You gonna do the same stuff for the rest of your life? Hey, cool ass. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So we're talking about Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. It said his head and his hairs was white like wool. Look at his side. Why in the hell they give us an image of a white man to be our saint? It said a hair on his head and a hair on his face were white like wool, read. As white as snow. As white as snow, read. And his eyes. It said his eyes, read. Were as a flame of fire. Because when you drink eye wine, the whites, the whites of your eyes turn red. The whites of your eyes start to be red like a flame of fire, read. And his feet. Like it's a fine brass. When you look at fine brass, what color is, hey bro, I want to ask you something, bro. What color is fine brass? What color is fine brass? Fine brass, I don't say, I don't say something, something close to that. I, I don't know that. Now, you're right, something close to that. With fine brass is the derivative of brown. Right, right. It's a derivative of brown. But look, I'm going to show you how close to fine brass he was, me. As if they burned in a furnace. If you throw anything in a furnace, and then pull it out. What color is it gonna be? No. If you throw salt, if you throw, bro, if I throw a white piece of paper in the front, what color is coming out? That's coming out uh, black. It's coming out black. That's right. Christ was a dark skinned man, man. That's right. Tell about people to wake up and repent. And he said the hair on his head like the pearl wool. But guess what? Our sisters despise their pearl wool and hair. Our brothers despise their pearl wool and hair. Time to wake up and repent. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.